got a packing beer and all of the things. Going really light. Tiny little harness right here. We got some drugs over here in case something bad happens. In reach. Very small light rack. Got lunch. And Brad is uh, going super light and fast. Where should we put the chicken? Can we put it in your pack? Leaving the trailhead at 8 a.m. Got all our things. I'm uh, doing the thing that every newbie does, which is I bought new boots and uh, I've never worn them out before. So it's a good time to go on a three day alpine trek in the mountains. That would be such good climbing if it wasn't entirely covered in moss. Just gained 3,000 feet. So now we are 3,200 feet above sea level since squash literally start at sea level. Oh, that's cold. Very, very, very cold. Ooh, that's cold. Almost across. Gained 4,000 feet, and we are at the bug line. Bugs are really bad right now. It's snack time. We're at 5,300 feet. Slowly gaining elevation bag salads. These are the best snack in the Alpine. We are at 7,000 feet. Still kind of in the clouds. Out of coal. But I think that's a big mountain over there. Legs are feeling a little bit toasted, but still going strong. I'm going somewhere into the cloud. There's a very large mountain right there. Bivy camp, no tent, still in the clouds. Very excited for some stewed beef with apricots and yellow split peas. 800 calories for 180 grams. That's some pretty good weight to calorie ratio right there. And I've got rice. Mm -hmm. Mountains are coming out. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Pelion and that's Elsa. And we came from over here today. Walked all the way down, 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 down. So, bedtime. Time for bed. And we are gonna go up just like this. And then we're gonna sneak through the bridge trunk right there. And then go up and gain the coal. Bergstrand right there. into the United States from here. Pretty sure that's Baker. That's Baker, yeah. <laughs> Next wrap is way over there, across the ledge. Mr. Gloves. Keeping me nice and great for the snow and great for repelling too. 
big fan of these guys. Yeah, that's the party with the broken ankle. But we can hear the helicopter coming. The fun continues. Still need to fourth class scramble with this ridge. This is important beta for collecting water when it's really hard to get an analogy or any kind of bottle up to the cliff face to actually collect any is a ziplock bag. And then you can collect a whole analogy full of water. Wearing brand new shoes and tearing off the tags in the parking lot is so far working on my favor. It is day three of the Tantalus Traverse. The sun is shining. Now we need to descend all the way back to our cars. The best view in town. Look at that. Down the gully we go. Down to the lake. Made it to a lovely lake. Looks very lovely. Might be time for a swim. Lake Lovely is indeed very lovely. Some bushwhacking. Jesus, it's like fifth class root down climbing over here. Oh my god. Wow. Back in the rainforest. Almost to the Squamish River cable crossing. It is very hot down here. Sweating a lot. It's crawling through this tube with a giant backpack, getting attacked by mosquitoes at the same time. Oh. Got bit so many times. Definitely the crux of this whole exhibition. Gosh, it's so scary. I don't even know why it's so scary, but it just is. Crazy, right? Holy shit. I'm just literally standing on this cable. <sighs> yeah. Whew. Almost across this this cable. Past all those buoys. <sighs> across the Squamish River. And that's where I'm going. I got across the cable and I need to go down, but um that right there is a black bear. So I'm gonna just stay up here until that guy goes away. This is the cable I just crossed. I need to get down. And this area is being patrolled by a black bear. No big deal. We are on the last stretch, hay bearing our way through, back to the Pontiac vibe. Slash tires.
Here we yeah, come. hopefully the tires aren't slashed. This trailhead is known for that. We made it! We're back at the car and the car car's tires aren't slashed. And we found the key. Woo! Tantalus Traverse.